William the Conqueror, also known as William I, was a Norman nobleman who became King of England in 1066. He was born in Falaise, Normandy, in 1028 and was the son of Robert the Magnificent, Duke of Normandy. William's claim to the English throne originated from an agreement he made with the previous king, Edward the Confessor, who promised him the throne. However, after Edward's death, another nobleman named Harold Godwinson was crowned King of England, leading to the Norman conquest of England. In 1066, William invaded England with a Norman army and defeated Harold's army at the Battle of Hastings. He was crowned King of England on Christmas Day of the same year, thus establishing the Norman dynasty in England. During his reign, William introduced a number of reforms to the English legal and administrative systems. He commissioned the Doomsday Book, a comprehensive survey of England's lands and properties, which provided valuable information about the country's economy and demographics. William also introduced the feudal system to England, which was based on a hierarchical social structure in which landowners held fiefs from the king in exchange for military service. This system helped establish a strong centralized government in England and ensured that the king had a reliable army. William was also known for his military campaigns, which included several campaigns in Normandy and a successful invasion of Wales. He died in Rouen, Normandy, in 1087, and was succeeded by his son, William II. William the Conqueror, also known as William I, was a skilled military leader who undertook several campaigns during his reign. Here are some of his most significant military campaigns. Battle of Hastings, Campaigns in Normandy, Invasion of Maine, Campaigns in Brittany, Invasion of Wales. The Battle of Hastings was a significant battle that took place on October 14, 1066, near the town of Hastings in southern England. The battle was fought between the Norman French army of William, Duke of Normandy, and the English army of Harold Godwinson, the reigning King of England. The battle was the result of a dispute over the English throne. When King Edward the Confessor died without an heir in early 1066, Harold Godwinson, one of the most powerful English nobles, was crowned King of England. However, William of Normandy, who claimed to be the rightful heir to the throne, disputed Harold's claim and gathered an army to invade England. William's army landed on the coast of southern England in September 1066, and Harold gathered his army to meet them. The two armies met near the town of Hastings, and a fierce battle ensued. The Norman army was well trained and well equipped, and they had the advantage of cavalry, which was not common in English armies at the time. The English army fought bravely, but they were ultimately defeated, and Harold was killed during the battle. The Norman victory at the Battle of Hastings was a turning point in English history. William was crowned King of England on Christmas Day of the same year, and he established the Norman dynasty in England. The battle also had a significant impact on the English language and culture, as it led to the introduction of French language and culture into England. Today, the Battle of Hastings is remembered as one of the most important battles in English history, and it is still studied and commemorated in England and around the world. William the Conqueror also known as William I, undertook several military campaigns in Normandy during his reign. Here are some of his most significant campaigns in Normandy. Campaign against Conan II of Brittany, 1066-1067 Before embarking on his invasion of England, William faced a challenge from Conan II of Brittany, who was a powerful ally of the English. William launched a campaign against Conan and successfully captured the city of Dahl, which served as a strategic base for further campaigns in Brittany. War against the barons of Maine, 1073 to 1075. William faced a rebellion by the barons of Maine, a neighboring county in western France. He led a campaign to suppress the rebellion and successfully captured the city of Le Mans, which was the main stronghold of the rebels. War against Robert de Belmy, 1077 to 1088. Robert de Belmy was a powerful baron in Normandy who rebelled against William's authority. William launched a campaign against Robert and successfully captured his castles, including the stronghold of Alencon. War against Philip I of France, 1087-1088, in the final year of his reign, William faced a challenge from Philip I of France, who sought to expand his territories at the expense of Normandy. William led a campaign against Philip and successfully repulsed his attacks, but he died soon afterward. Overall, William's campaigns in Normandy were aimed at consolidating his power and asserting his authority over the region. He faced challenges from powerful barons and neighboring rulers, but he was able to overcome these challenges through military strength and strategic alliances. 
His military successes in Normandy helped establish his reputation as a skilled military leader and a powerful monarch. The invasion of Maine was a military campaign undertaken by William the Conqueror in 1073-1075 to assert his control over the county of Maine, a territory in western France. The campaign was part of William's efforts to consolidate his power in Normandy and expand his territories. At the time, the county of Maine was ruled by two powerful barons, Hugh I.V. and his brother, Herbert. The two barons had been allies of William's father, but they became hostile to William after his succession to the Duchy of Normandy in 1066. William launched his invasion of Maine in 1073, capturing the town of Fresnay and other towns in the region. He then laid siege to the castle of St. Suzanne, which was a key stronghold of the rebels. The siege lasted for several months, but William was eventually able to capture the castle by starving the defenders into surrender. After the capture of St. Suzanne, the remaining rebel strongholds quickly fell to William's army, and he was able to establish his control over the county of Maine. The rebel barons were forced to swear loyalty to William and to acknowledge him as their feudal lord. The invasion of Maine was a significant military success for William, as it allowed him to expand his territories and consolidate his power in Normandy. It also demonstrated his skill as a military leader and his ability to overcome challenges from powerful barons and neighboring rulers. William I undertook several military campaigns in Brittany during his reign as Duke of Normandy. Here are some of his most significant campaigns in Brittany. Campaign against Conan II of Brittany, 1066 to 1067. Before embarking on his invasion of England, William faced a challenge from Conan II of Brittany, who was a powerful ally of the English. William launched a campaign against Conan and successfully captured the city of Dahl, which served as a strategic base for further campaigns in Brittany. War against Alan IV, Duke of Brittany, 1076 to 1079. Alan IV, Duke of Brittany, was a powerful ruler who challenged William's authority in the region. William launched a campaign against Alan, capturing the city of Dahl once again and forcing Alan to submit to his authority. However, William was not able to fully subjugate Brittany, and he was forced to recognize Alan as a semi-independent ruler. Campaign against Hole of Cornuail, 1084-1085. Hole of Cornuail was a Breton noble who rebelled against William's authority. William launched a campaign against Hole, capturing several of his castles and forcing him to submit to his authority. Overall, William's campaigns in Brittany were aimed at expanding his control over the region and asserting his authority over powerful local rulers. While he was not able to fully subjugate Brittany, his military successes in the region helped establish his reputation as a skilled military leader and a powerful monarch. William the Conqueror did not personally undertake an invasion of Wales, as his reign was largely focused on consolidating his power in England and Normandy. However, the Norman conquest of England in 1066 did have implications for Wales, as it brought about changes in the balance of power in the region. Following the Norman conquest, William granted large territories in Wales to Norman barons, who established their own feudal domains in the region. These barons, known as the Marcher Lords, were given significant autonomy and were tasked with defending the borders of Wales against Welsh raiders. The establishment of the Marcher Lords led to increased Norman influence in Wales, and many Welsh princes were forced to acknowledge Norman authority or face military defeat. However, the Welsh were able to mount several successful rebellions against Norman rule, particularly under the leadership of figures like Rhys A.P. Tudur and Gruffydd A.P. Sinan. Overall, William's reign did not involve a direct invasion of Wales, but it did have significant implications for the region, as it led to the establishment of Norman feudal domains and the emergence of the Marcher Lords. William the Conqueror's legacy is still felt in England today, particularly in the country's legal and administrative systems, which were greatly influenced by his reforms.